saved person is a missionary. Amen. Amen. Every one of us is a missionary. You are a deacon in the church, you are a missionary. Right. You are a secretary in the church, you are a missionary. You are just an ordinary member in the church, you are a missionary. Your mission is to bring out, to spread out the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. And it is your mission to, to fulfill the great commission that Jesus Christ has given unto us. Amen. You are a missionary if you are saved. Amen. Your mission is to bring more souls to the feet of the Lord Jesus Christ. Are you with me? Yeah. A pastor Amen. is a missionary. A pastor's wife, like my wife, is a missionary. Yeah. I am a missionary. If you are God's people saved and baptized, you are a missionary of God. Man. Please, do not eliminate yourselves from being in the church ministry. Look at what happened. Look at what happened to the testimonies. Oh, I was so blessed by those testimonies. Because if there is someone, if, if, if this church doesn't care for them, and some of the members of this church didn't share with them the word of God, they would be something like you. <laughs> Have you heard the testimonies? Have you heard their voice? It is because somebody, someone, in the church, who? It's one. Amen. Amen. It's a challenge. Our church members, please do not eliminate yourselves in the church ministry. Number three. It's not only a ministry of emergencies. It's not only a ministry of elimination. Number three. It is a ministry of expression. Expression. Look at verse number 33. Are you still with me? Amen. Amen. Don't worry about me when I'm shouting. <laughs> I'm doing this every time I stand in the pulpit. Amen. <laughs> I need to cry for the people of God to hear. <laughs> Amen. 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 Later on you will shout, I know that. You will be cheering for Pacquiao. <laughs> Let's hear from God! Let's hear from His precious Lord! Amen! It's the ministry of elimination in Luke chapter number 10, verse number 33. The Bible says, And likewise, in Levi, when he was at the place, came and looked on him and passed by on the other side. You see, that why it is a ministry of elimination. In to the priests and the Levites, in fairness to them, because they are the because they are God, because they are what we call the in fairness to them. I told you that the priests and the Levites, they have compassion. Even you, when you saw someone, he's laughing, you have compassion. I don't believe when you see a life. <laughs> Woo! What happened to you? Well, you will have compassion. Just like the priests, the Levites, they have compassion on the man. They not only compassion on the man, they also have what we call sympathy. It's not the price of the man. But I tell you this morning, ah, look at me. Is sympathy and compassion enough? To save the man? Come on. Come on. Give me an answer. No. Sympathy and compassion is not enough to save the dying man. Amen. What we need today is expression. What we need today is action. Put our mouth into action. Help the man. Amen. Sometimes we are singing to the regions be I must go, I must go. And you cannot even go outside of your house to bring one soul to the Lord Jesus Christ. How much more you will go to the regions of your Are you with me, church members? Amen. We need to do our power. Amen. We need to put some action.
reflection on our good looking statue. <laughs> we need to put more action. Your family will not be saved. Your relatives will not be saved. I know that you have compassion on them. I know that you love them to go to the church. I know that you want them to pray to the people of the Lord Jesus Christ. <coughs> Look at the good start in verse number 34. The Bible says in verse 33, But a certain Samaritan, as he journeyed, came where he was, and when he saw him, he had compassion on him. Look what followed compassion, and went to him, bound up his wounds, pouring in oil wine, set him in his own peace. This afternoon or this morning, we saw when Sister Elisa saw this song, Righteousness, a religion teaches us that we can get righteousness with our own works. No, sir. No, 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 no. We can attain righteousness by just receiving the word Jesus. Amen. Amen. What a wonderful song. Amen. Start doing on your part. Start trusting the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. If you trust the Lord Jesus Christ, you put your life, you put your soul, you put your future in His hands. And He is God. And He is God. And He is not a man that He should lie. Are you with me? Do you believe that God can do everything? Amen. Because the Bible says, to God, nothing shall be impossible. But maybe you will be surprised if I can show you the words that God can do it. Amen. Hebrews chapter 6, verse 7. All in the word of God. All a kind of heresy is that no, sir, it's not an heresy. It's a matter of understanding. It's a matter of understanding. There is no impossible things with God. 
indulging impossible or great things. There is no impossibilities or no, no impossible with Him. But look at Hebrews chapter number 6, verse number 18. The Bible says, the writer of the Hebrews chapter 6, of verse 18, that by two immutable things in which it was impossible for God to lie. <laughs> if there is one thing that God will not do and He cannot do, is that is to lie. Amen. That's why whatever words that we can read in our Bible, that's, that's not lie. Are you with me? God cannot lie. I can lie. Each one of us can lie. But God cannot lie. And the Bible says, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever you visitors this morning, you may be black, you may be white, you may be yellow, you may be Asian, Europeans, but the Bible says, Whosoever that includes you. Can save you if you just trust him. Please do not trust me. Do not trust Pastor James or any members of this church. Do not trust the church. Trust the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Are you with me? You need the blood transfusion of the Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. You need to be born again. It is a ministry of expression, beloved Lord. Number four. It is a ministry of expense. Are you with me? Look at verse number 34 of Luke, chapter number 10. The Bible says in verse number 34, And went to him and bound up his wounds, and pouring in oil and wine, and set him his own beast, and brought him to an inn, and took care of him. And on the morrow when he departed, he took out two pence, and gave them to the host, and said unto him, Take care of him, and whatsoever thou spendest more, when I come again, I will repay thee. Are you listening? It is a ministry of expense. Number one, the victim cost the Samaritan his time. Are you with me? It cost him his time. The Samaritan is just is not just there to help the man. I do believe with all my heart that he has something to do with his life. The Bible says he's carrying a beast. Maybe he's, he's going to meet someone for an appointment. Maybe he has some business meeting. Maybe he has some family waiting there on the other part. Mm. But the Bible says when he saw the man, he had compassion on him. And after compassion, he gave the first aid mm. to the man. Right. He set up his priority. It cost me his time. me? believer with the Lord Jesus Christ, it will cost you your time. Are you with me? Perhaps not all your time, 